Good afternoon. My name is Joe from Joe's Paradise of Colour. I am in Australia. Um, today I am going to be finishing a order that I started a few weeks ago. Now that I've got plying thread for it. This one is Cashmino silk, 55% 19 micron merino, 40% um, silk, and 5% cashmere. You can buy this lovely, beautifully soft to die for fiber from Charlie from Ishel Bunny. Um, she is on Facebook or she has her own blog spot so go check her out she makes the most stunning fibre around um, she blends her fibres herself um, creates her own blends obviously and um, grows her own angora bunnies um, I just love this color this is one of my colors one of my colorways um especially dyed up for a customer um this one is called uh tequila sunrise 
Sunrise in fluoro pink, fluoro orange, gold and red. I love it. And it's got a little bit of white through it too. Um, I will be applying it with a magenta two-ply cotton wool blend. Um, this is one of the ones that I bought from uh, the from Yarn Barn here in Australia. Um, very affordable, very good quality threads from them and they do larger um, weight quantity cones too if you're after more. So I really like this colour, it's so pretty. But I think magenta is one of my favourites but I have many different favorite yarns um, colors and stuff but yeah I will be spinning these up over the next two days because I've got two yarns to make um, this video should be out tonight so hope you enjoy this one such a lovely fiber to dye and spin Oh no. Mmm. 200 gram bobbin doesn't fit on my my cone. Sorry. 200 gram 200 gram cone doesn't fit on my cone um, lazy cape. So uh, uh, maybe, maybe if I go on the outside one. Yeah, fits on the outside one. Woo! That's all good then. Make a knot in the end. Make sure. No. Bobbling. I have been asked what I use for a laser cape for the cones. Um, I ended up asking my husband to make me one of these. It's one of these things. It's uh, part of a um, overlocker, the back of the overlocker on a board and it works perfect. For all of my, I can fit four cones on, on this. Four 100 gram cones and two 200 gram cones. Maybe two 500 gram cones. No, probably not. Probably not. Alright. So... I'm not doing sparkle in this one it's pretty as it is this one will be made into a knitted top by my buyer it's gonna be so pretty this one is a thick and thin. She wants to try something new. Um, uh, I love, I love spinning this stuff. It just, it is just so. Okay, doing this, getting caught on the thread. First problem for today. Alright. 
because the cash mino silk is so slippery and shiny likes to catch on on stuff all right well that one went a bit funny and it's oh, okay i don't think maybe no i don't think it is a thick and thin bit i think it's just a thick thin bit <laughs> do you know what i mean the thin bit but it's a little bit thicker uh, i need to tighten up my tension slightly it's gonna be good when i can get a new wheel um this tension keeps getting loose so easy come on doing some weird things all right i'm just gonna chuck in a couple of those little beehives on these little tiny tiny sections these little tiny thick bits i made some really thick bits and some really little thin bits i love making this yarn it's enjoyable and it looks so good made up it sets beautiful too little gold piece yeah i can be myself when making this stuff i think it's not tight enough but it is so soft I really need to get some more of this. I'm running out. Charlie, I'm running out. I've got like 300 grams left. I'm keeping it for myself. It's to go into a um, shawl I want to make. I need to dye it into violet and then spin it up and add it to the background colour of a shawl I'm going to make. But yeah, this fibre is just divine one of my best selling best selling fibers so pretty if anyone loves this colorway let me know I'm happy to dye up some for you and if you want cashmere silk I can order more in I'll be doing another order soon anyway because I'm almost out so um, just let me know if you're interested Got a couple orders to finish um, before I start taking any more after the sale. Um, the sale orders will probably take up about maybe two, three weeks of my time to finish. So if you want anything after the sale, that's the time frame I'll be able to get into another lot of orders.
And I've decided this year that all my earnings from my yarns, my fibres and my weaving and the mum and me stuff is going to go towards a new wheel, a new spinning wheel. So that's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. Still trying to work out what I'm going for. Oh, I'm almost done. Been spinning for two hours. I'm not sure if my camera is still going. I'm going to fit it on. I'm almost run out on the bobbin.